Hello everybody, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is iPanel number two, Appstravaganza. Today we're going to be talking about everything iPhone, iPod Touch, and Macintosh in terms of applications. We've got a great panel today. Um, if each of you want to go around and introduce yourself, that would be great. So, Logan, you kick it off. Uh, hey guys, I'm Logan here. Uh, I'm The iPhones are online, and yeah, I like to blog. Um, I am K, known as KI2594, uh, across Twitter and things like that. Yo, it's Evan269 here, or Collect 269 on YouTube. What's up? Um, I'm Andres, also known as Andre MR12. Uh, that's pretty much my handle. I'm Andre, known as MaxFly48 on Twitter. Yeah, I'm Alex Burton, and I'm with AppleAppStore101.com. All right, so this should be a really killer show, and uh, we'll kick it off right here. Uh, first, we're going to take at, uh, excuse me, iPhone applications. We each have three of them, and I will kick it off with my own application, kind of self-advertisement here. But uh, I will tell you what my application is about and why I think you should check it out. Uh, it's called The Essentials of Magic, short EO Magic. You can pick it up in the App Store for $1.99. It's a hefty application weighing around 500 or so megabytes, I believe. So uh, it is, it's a large file. However, uh, you get a ton of video content. It's just under an hour, I think, really high quality, um, great looking content on your iDevice. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to watch videos of me, really exciting, I know, and <laughs> learn uh, sleight of hand card magic. So there's a lot of applications in the App Store already that were magic oriented. I wanted to do something like that. However, there's a ton of them where, you know, there's the home screen and based on the way you touch the icons, that's the card that comes up. And the phone was used kind of as a gimmick. And I wanted to use the phone as a teaching tool. So I decided to create this application, create all these odd uh, videos with the explanation and with the performance. And I think it's really cool because the user is able to pay $2 and learn what would be the equivalent of $70, $80, $90 of magic. So I think if you're interested in magic, you should definitely check it out. I'm wide open to suggestions. So if you say, you know, this is horrible, Quinn, retry, start over. Uh, it's only $1.99. You can pick it up in the App Store. If you are greatly dissatisfied with it, you can contact me via email at info at eomagic.com and I will refund your order. However, I think it's something that if you are into magic, if you want to learn true magic, sleight of hand, uh, n not the typical pick your card, here's my gaff deck kind of magic, but holy crap, you just blew my mind kind of magic. You should definitely check it out. Uh, so once again, it's $1.99 in the App Store. It's made by yours truly, and it's called The Essentials of Magic Card Basics. We have a light version, hopefully coming soon. My developer was going to come on the show today, but uh, he ran into a few problems on the way. But uh, I think EO Magic Lite will be also really cool when it gets out, and hopefully that will help spread the word. So there you go, EO Magic, $1.99 in the App Store. I personally love that, but I just think it magic. Yeah, and I mean, you have to be into magic. It's not for any uh, guy who's just on the street. There's some people that aren't that appeased by magic, but if you truly want to learn magic for a good price, I think that's a good place to start out. And it's pretty beginner-oriented, but it does require quite a bit of practice. So there you go. And uh, Logan, if you want to kick it off with your first app. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to be bringing you guys to Gunsmoke, which is actually a gun simulator from the App Store. Uh, it costs 99 cents, and it's made by Hypertron. And actually, it runs on a gun engine. So it functions as a gun. The code in the actual app um, is actually running like an actual gun. So when you pull the trigger, the bullet is loaded up from the magazine into the clip. And or up into the, um, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> Sorry, but it, it fires out um, with great effects. And there's over 30 guns in the app. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. Gunsmoke, 28 guns, 30 guns coming soon. Um, my uh, first app is uh, from a solo developer named Derek Kepner. and um, it's called Rhyme Book. And basically, um, I mean, the name kind of gives it away. It's just a a protected application in which you can 
you know, type poetry or rap or whatever you do. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm into rap. So, um, I'm always writing down lyrics and things like that into this application. And it gives you a lot of features, um, that you really wouldn't expect in like a note, uh, your normal iPhone notes application. Um, for instance, you'll get, uh, access to rhymezone.com there's an icon right on the side so you can access it with a built-in browser uh if you run out of ideas for rhymes and um you can also get password protection so then if you don't want anyone looking at your um looking at your poems or whatever you write uh you can just password protect it just like on your iphone's home screen um it's uh it's got swipe to delete landscape mode all the basics that you have in a new uh, usual um iphone application and uh, it comes at a pretty low price. It's uh, one ninety nine. Um, the developer really listens into suggestions, so you can suggest at their Twitter at uh, at k e p n e r. So uh, that's Rhymebook. It's Evan here, and my first app that I would like to talk about is Wild West Pinball. It is ninety nine cents in the App Store, and it is by Gameprom. Now, this pinball app is probably the most complete pinball app in the App Store. What I mean by that is that it literally has so many updates, been out for forever now. It makes every other pinball app that I've tried out look sad, basically. It, ha- it pretty much has been developed well enough that it has many different updates it is very more complete. It actually feels like I'm playing an actual arcade pinball game. It is 99 cents in the App Store, and yeah. Okay, so the Andre? first. Uh, oh yeah, hi, it's Andre, and the the first. Well, Andre, sorry. Uh, the first app I'm going to start off with is I Sync You from Artificial Life Inc. Um. This app was free for a while, and uh, now it's 99 cents. Uh, they do have a live version. And this is a game, and it's pretty much a um, battleship, but with uh, effects. And it's a little bit more in depth with it. Um, it is, like I said, two ninety nine in the or ninety nine cents in the app store. Sorry, and um, you guys should go check it out. Sweet. Next. <laughs> okay, so my first app is. The Snow Report, and this is an app by North Face. I recently went to um, Colorado, and I, I could check up everything that was happening, snow, conditions, everything that, uh, with the current temperature, the webcam, everything that the uh, resort pretty much had was on this app, and it, you could even buy tickets and check their Twitter. It was a really full-featured app if you live where there it snows a lot. It's 99 cents in the app store. Well, wow, that's really cool. I'll have to check that out. Actually, it's free. Never mind. It's free. If you can see the uh, snow report, not only that, but the webcams, that's pretty cool, too, because there's a lot of apps out there. I live in Utah, and they're pretty big on snow, and um, there's a few apps out there that are based for resorts locally here, but none of them actually have the webcam access, so that's, that's pretty neat. Definitely for free as well. Yeah, I, I personally use it every day. Any app that's free is worth checking out. <laughs> All right, Alex, you're up, man. All right. Well, my, the first app I'm going to be sharing with you guys is called Project 72. Um, the reason why it is called Project 72 is because it was made in 72 hours by just four people. So I thought that was pretty cool. And pretty much what you're doing is you're a spaceship and you're trying to collect these little radioactive symbols. Um, so you just do that by tilting your iPhone or uh, iPod Touch. And it is only $0.99, cents and it's made by Dogtown Studio. So definitely check that one out. Yeah, that's a killer game. I've played it before. I didn't know they developed it in 72 hours, but that's pretty cool. Fun little fact to know there. Okay, I'll kick off my second app. Uh, it would be Snail Mail. Now, this one is an older game. It's been out forever. Um, however, you know, it still stayed one of my favorite games after all these months, after all these, you know, Nova crazy insane simulators and whatnot have come out, uh, Snail Mail stills up there. Uh, right I beat top. Snail Mail in three days. It was such a fun game. It's a crazy game, and three days is fast. That's one thing I really like about this game. It's only $1.99. 
except for the story is so expansive. Um, there's tons of really, really, really hard levels. Um, me and a other YouTuber viewer were racing to see who could beat the game the fastest, and he won. It's a tough game, but it gives you uh, a ton of entertainment. What it is is you're a snail, and you work in cyberspace, and you're they're making fun of the Postal Service, which is pretty grand in my eyes. But what your mm. object is the snail is to uh, race as fast as you can uh, to get to the end of this runway. Now, uh, along the way, you receive rewards if you pick up certain packages. And I think you have to, if I remember correctly, you have to pick up a certain number of packages. And then after that, it's just kind of a, as a bonus. And uh, it's one of those retro arcade point-based systems. But the graphics are pretty decent, uh, considering it's an iPhone game. And uh, it's all accelerometer-based. It was given an award as the best accelerometer game of the year for, I think, 2008. But, yeah, it's a seller game. I really recommend uh, you check it out. Uh, it has been fun forever and ever, and uh, it's never gotten old. Uh, and I, the developer escapes me right now, but it's published by Sandlot. So uh, definitely check it out. Uh, Snail Mail, $1.99 in the App Store. That is a really good app, actually. Yeah, pretty fun. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to be kicking off my second off app. Wow, I'm stupid. Uh, I'm going to be kicking off my second app with a social networking app. It is called Flutter. Now, Flutter for Twitter was, it came a long way. I was a beta tester for the actual app um, when it was back in its beta alpha stages. And it was, it was really buggy, and they've actually came a long way with it. So I'm really proud of it. Uh, it was developed by three kids, three teenagers. Um, and it sells in the App Store for 3 bucks, so definitely go check it out. It's worth the money. Uh, it has a new Twitter interface. It's not like Tweety. Um, if you're kind of getting bored of Tweety or anything else like um, Echophon or whatever you use, definitely check out Flutter. It's something to see. Uh, so it's made by Intelligent Monkey. Check them out. Um, my second app is, uh, is an app that most people should have on their phone already. It's called Wonder Radio. Um... Now this app runs for six ninety nine the app store. It's by Weather Underground, um, and uh, basically uh, it is a, a radio application. It gives you online streams to radio stations globally. If you name a radio station, I guarantee you, you know, you could probably find it on here. And um, for seven bucks, that's not really a big price to pay for what you get um, on Edge or on three. And most streams can run over Edge, so I mean that's a huge advantage when you're on the road. Um, and, uh, you know, it gives you access to anywhere. I can listen to um, a radio station in the UK, no problem. Um, and it sounds very, very clean, just like I'm in my car. Um, so Wonder Radio, definitely one of the best applications that I have on my iPhone. Um, and uh, definitely check it out. It's 6 in the App Store again um, by Weather Underground. Now, I use Stitcher Radio. Should I switch over? Um, Probably. Wonder Radio gives you a little bit more access to... Um, it it gives you more uh, options as far as what streams you want to do. You can listen in the background to a lot of the streams. Um, it has some weird way it can actually listen. Uh, it can play it in the background just like your iPod, um, which is really cool. Um, other features it has is it shows you what's playing. Um, it you can create your own favorites list. It views recently played songs. Uh, it has a web browser built into the um, app, so then if you can access a web stream of a radio station you just go directly to it and it'll play it for you so there's a lot of options and for seven bucks i mean it's it's really a, a bargain stellar i guess i'm um, next um this app it, that i like to is another game i guess i don't know why i chose so many games this time it's dark nebula it is 99 cents in the app store the funny part is all the apps i got were i guess when they were on discount or promo it off. Uh, this is made by 1337 Game Design. It is, another, it is a very fun game that it kept as amazing to play. What this game is, you're almost like a little sphere, I want to say, and you have to guide it through uh, all these obstacles. You, It's pretty much, again, any guess obstacle game. It's like Monkey Ball without the whole 3D effect, but different area, different. I guess a few different rules. But it is a, it's cheaper and, I guess, a lot more fun to play. 
It's ninety nine cents in the app store. Dark Nebula. Okay, so um, oh, sorry, Quinn. No, you're good. Go ahead. Okay, so um, it's Andre again, and I'm gonna be doing um uh, an app that I use a lot, and it's good for us case reviewers that order cases a lot or get sent cases, and you know about it before. It's called Delivery Status Touch, a package tracker, um, from June Cloud LLC. It's two ninety nine in the App Store. And what this allows you to do is uh, track your packages, which you pretty much figured out from the title. But um, it does offer, it tells, it, in the date, it tells you how long you have it, the, um, what the item name is. You can also get more information. And if the app can't seem to access, you can also log on to the website in the app as its own web browser. And um, it works really good. It works with over 25 uh, services and I ordered from Deal Extreme and that uses Hong Kong uh, Express and it even worked with that which I was amazed so uh, once again it's called Delivery Status Touch a package tracker by June Cloud LLC and it's two ninety nine. also before I finish sorry um, but it does have a Mac client also for those who are on Mac it's a dashboard widget which syncs up whenever you add a um, uh, delivery and it's killer. We actually use it for unlimited case, and I highly recommend you check it out. Uh, so if you're getting packages, sending packages, reseller, seller, even for eBay kind of stuff, it's it's a pretty sweet little app. It, it's pretty I really cool. like it. Yep, I think I'm going to check that one out. App I want to share with you guys. It's called My Desk. It is a productivity app, and it is two ninety nine. dollars um, What you get is essentially a bunch of widgets. Um, so it's sort of like the Mac dashboard. So I thought that was really cool. It has in integration with Twitter, Google Calendar, the uh, iPod um, library little API that the Apple people just implemented into the SDK. So really cool. Um, and has a clock and to-do list. I mean, uh, it's all right. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's pretty cool and useful for me. Very nice. Um, I have an application. You know, I'm going to break the rules and break. I'm going to talk about four iPhone applications. I'll make them quick here. One is Hootsuite. It's a dollar ninety nine. Uh, Hootsuite's really cool because I have a. I'm running a company account basically, and why I think it's a cool little application is the main feature. It allows you to track a lot of statistics. So. If I put a link out and say, hey, check this website out, I can see how many people clicked it, who clicked it, when they clicked it, and all this crazy data that uh, their URL shortener, o or Owly, O-W-L-Y, captures. But along with that, they have this really cool thing called scheduled tweeting. So right now I'm running a giveaway, and uh, it's via Twitter, and I like to remind my followers about it. It goes on for till the 15th of this month. And rather than finding the time every day to retweet that message myself, I've just told Hootsuite every day at 6 p.m. retweet that message. Or I can say, you know, in three hours, tweet this. So it's really cool and it comes in handy and I use it a lot because I'll be saying, uh, you know, I'll be talking about the iPanel podcast tonight and, oh, I'm not going to remember when that is. So at 6.30, I'll have a message that's all ready to go. And at 6.30, it automatically tweets for me, oh, T minus 30 minutes to when we go live on iPanel. So that's a pretty cool application. Uh, it's developed by Hootsuite. They have a web OS version, excuse me, not web OS. They have a web based version uh, that's free, but uh, the full version on iPhone, I highly recommend. It's $1.99. Uh, the other iPhone application I'm going to talk about is called Ring It Up Pro. Now, I'm going to get the price right now as I talk about it, but it's a really stellar application. Um, it is a full point of sale system for your iPhone. So it tracks inventory, it tracks orders, it can do payments. Um, I mean, it works with PayPal, it works with authorized.net, anything you use. So it can process credit cards, it can track inventory, track orders. Um, you can locally print packing slips, which is really cool. So if you have their other application, you can send it to that app on your iPhone and you can print their invoice 
to your local printer on your Wi-Fi network, which is really neat. And their latest edition is barcode scanning, which is freaking crazy. So I get an order on PayPal.com, and it's from John Doe, and John Doe wants a spec candy shell in red. So I go upstairs, I take a spec candy shell out, throw it in a package, and before I do that, I scan it. Now it uses red laser, so red laser is very notorious for being one of the best, you know, uh, camera-based. Uh, UPC and EAN barcode readers for the iPhone and uh, they've teamed up with Ring It Up Pro and it's killer. Uh, I highly recommend it. And so what it does is I scan that case, throw it in the package, and that case is deducted one for my inventory. So I suddenly don't have to track inventory on my computer. I don't have to go to my point of sale software on my computer and say okay this person ordered this it's all done and it's a very simple process and it works on your iphone which is pretty cool has export features all this crazy stuff it is pricey at 39.99 but for as powerful of an application as it is and for a point of sale system uh, it's definitely worth your value so if you do yard sale yard work, any kind of business where you're walking around and need to do transactions on the go, I highly recommend it. Ring It Up Pro. It is from Todd Florman, single developer, and he does a crazy good job with it. So uh, that's thirty nine ninety nine in the iPhone App Store. That sounds like a killer app. Yeah, it sounds pretty sick, man. Yeah, I think I might use that when I start a business, if I do. What's the name again? Ring it up, pro. So yeah, I it's been a lifesaver, and I've my whole inventory tracking is all done through a singular iPhone application, which I would have never imagined. So it's worth the forty bucks you spend. Highly recommend it. All right, um, for my last iPhone app, I'm going to be talking about Chirpy. <laughs> Uh, Chirpy is like, I guess you could say, a K-Tweeter kind of Twitter and Facebook client. Sorry, um, And what it allows you to do is it has a very nice interface and allows you to tweet and update your Facebook status um, simply. And the user interface is just sick. Uh, literally, it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, you have your most replied people on, for Twitter in little profile pictures that you can scroll through. So if you need a quick reply, someone you can just tap on their uh, profile picture and you can reply them. Uh, it's really fast at image upload. So say you want a twit pic, you can just upload something really fast. It can shrink URLs, it can geotag, and it's just packed with features. They have a free version and a pro version. If you get the free version, you can only have one account for Facebook and one account for Twitter. And if you get pro, you can have as many accounts as you want. So... Go ahead and check it out. It's by Steve Reynolds. Reynolds. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Definitely go look at it. <laughs> right on. Um, so for my last um, iPhone application, uh, I have a pretty well-known uh, application. It's called 1Password. And it's uh, it's a multi-platform um, app, I believe. I'll have to double-check that. It's by uh, Agile Web Solutions. It is multi-platform. Uh, it does work, but it's pretty much uh, mainly on user Mac because Windows have a different, better application that does the same functionality. Oh, okay. So, um, basically for the iPhone, um, the normal version is uh, 4 dollars There's a pro version for seven ninety nine. Um, and it gives you access to, I mean, it, it basically saves all your passwords for you. And um, so I use it for, I don't even know how many passwords, probably like up to 40 or 50 passwords by now. And um, and so basically I can do a lot of things. It can remember my passwords for when I'm on Web Safari. So I don't really have to type in my password for Facebook, for instance, every time I want to log in. And um, so that's really easy. Um, definitely worth it. I have the regular version. The uh, pro version gives you a couple more little features. Um, I don't know if it'd be worth the uh, the extra couple dollars, but you could check it out. Um, it's uh, Agile Web Solutions, and um, I'll be talking about them a little more later on. Love one password. They've been around a long time, and uh, they're the best in password management, if you ask me. Always secure, and you don't have to remember anything. So there you go. Yeah, yeah so next is me, my last. Uh, app as a utility. Now, I need to set this up for you. I, instead of using a Apple TV, I take my MacBook, get the, um, so I can display my adapter on a, on my TV. I have, so let's say I want to watch, 
Hulu or other movies I'm streaming offline on my computer, I could put them on my TV. Now, here's the thing. It's always annoying having to take my mouse on my computer and having to actually navigate. So this app saves me so I can just use my iPhone as a mouse. It's called Touch Mouse. It's by Logitech, and this has saved me so much um, time. It's a free mouse. Well, I guess it's a $200 mouse since it's your iPhone, but the app is free. All you have to do is download a simple thing on your computer, and it works amazingly. Uh, this works over Wi-Fi, so as long as your iPhone and your computer are connected onto the same Wi-Fi network, it will work perfectly. It pretty much works that all you have to do is launch the application, and you have the left, the right click, and a center click. You can scroll with two fingers on a web page or just do anything. So if I am a, need to navigate around using my iPhone on and my computer is on my screen, I don't have to get up to go use my computer's uh, touchpad. I could, I guess, buy an alternate app, but this makes saves me money. I already have an iPhone. So this app, a Touch Mouse, it's free in the App Store. I definitely recommend it for anyone who uses a alternative monitor with their MacBook or any other computer. And it's definitely a good deal because um, there's a lot of uh, mouse applications in there, but they're a couple of dollars each. Um, like Air Mouse is like, I think, $2 now. Um, but Logitech definitely came through with a really good free solution. Yeah, I and, it, and people said like it doesn't work. For them. It's never not worked for me. People said it lags a lot. For me, it has not lagged once. It's worked perfectly. I love it. I'll have to check it out. I've been using Air Mouse Pro and love it basically because it has keyboard functionality. So does yeah. and it has Safari, iPhoto, Front Row, and iTunes Control, which is really cool for me. This uh, has the two. We okay. use it with our Mac Mini. And I mean, you can select applications, but yeah, it looks like a really solid application that's a good free solution if you're not willing to drop down the two bucks for Air Mouse Pro. So. Um, All right. So I guess I'm up. Um, my last app is Expense Tracker Dash Spending. It's from AppChair Inc. Um, it's two ninety nine, and uh, I picked this because this is one of the, my favorite apps ever. It helps you track your money. Um, especially me, I used to have this problem. Of, I'd end up losing money, but um, you can mm-hmm. add salary. You can um, you know, add special. Uh, categories for what you're spending money um, and it does graphs for and it tells, and shows you your spending on and what you're spending it on uh, this does up to a year in money so you could track a lot of money um, I really like this app because it's really easy to use the only thing I wish it had is some type of notification system so you like if you could set up oh I need this amount of money this week um, if I go under this amount of money then um, notify me. It doesn't have that, but hopefully the um, app chair is listening and um, they'll be able to add that in. So um, once again, it's called Expense Tracker Dash Spending app chair, from App Chair Inc. It's two ninety nine, and um, I really recommend the app if you uh, want to track your money and know exactly where it goes. Okay, I guess I'm up. My last app is going to be Cross Fingers. Now, this is a puzzle app, and it's really confusing once you get to the higher levels because you have to use, like, all your fingers pretty much to be able to get it. It is 99 cents in the App Store, but they do have a free light version, so you can always check that out. But it's just a really fun puzzle game, one of the best ones I've seen on the iPhone, and I just play it all the time. I find myself picking up my phone and just playing Cross Fingers if I'm bored. So I really recommend this application. Okay, um, the last application I'm going to share with you guys is called Parachute Ninja. It's in the App Store for $0.99, cents and it is developed by uh, Freeverse, so you know already that it's going to be a quality app. Um, so anyway, this app is a f- platform jumper, sort of like Doodle Jump, and pretty much the object is to get your little ninja from platform to platform before you fall or the water rises past you and you pretty much drown um so when you're playing you have to dodge um these monsters similar to doodle jump and um you also use the iphone's accelerometer so it's sort of interactive and i sort of like that feature so definitely really cool app for 99 cents so go check that out um i want to say one thing about that app it is a really good time 
passer, like if you need an app and a, you know, a cinch, yeah. like to it's pass. A very on. good pick and play. Yeah, it's like you don't need to be concentrated in it, but you can pick it up, play, and an hour will go by quick. It's yeah. nice. I've never used it. Uh, what is it like compared to Poppy Jump? It's complete. It's completely different. It has many different features and such. Okay. Okay, so that uh, concludes our iPhone session, and let's get started with Mac apps. Now, I know you're all going to kill me for recommending another Twitter application, but uh, mm. I just discovered it a few days ago, and I really like it. Um, I've used Tweety pretty much faithfully on the Mac ever since the beginning. However, there's a new one that's open source, and it's called Spaz. Um, it's developed by uh, Edward Finkler, I think that's how you say it. But the cool thing about it is it doesn't just do Twitter. It does Identica and Laconica. So um, Laconica is a killer engine for Twitter-based. It's open source also. So if you're like a part of the Twit Army um, on army.twit.tv with Leo Laporte, uh, it's kind of a system where you can use other you know, um, interfaces other than just Twitter excuse Twitter to express yourself. So that's really cool. And Spaz supports that as well as Twitter. Uh, other than that, it's just a really solid application. It has a beautiful interface. Uh, it's very, very, uh, good looking. Um, it doesn't do two things, which I have a nitpicky problem with. One is it doesn't support, um, Twit longer. So that really bothers me because I think every application should report to it longer. And uh, it opens pretty much every link you click on in uh, and in your Safari window or your browser window. So like with the instance of Tweety, you, quit, you click a Twit pick and it'll open within Tweety. It doesn't do that with uh, Spaz. However, there's um, really cool <coughs> at reply messages. You can do direct messages. Uh, it's just a really solid application. It's free, and uh, you can pick it up. And I believe it's called spazapp.com, but I'm not sure. Just do a Google search for spaz, S-P-A-Z. Sounds pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm going to be talking about a customization tool for your Mac today. Uh, it is. They actually have two versions. They have a trial and the full version, and it's definitely worth the money. Uh, it's called Candy Bar, and it's made by Panic. Now, Candy Bar is made to customize your dock, customize your icons. Really, that's all it does. It makes your dock look more like it makes you um, able to show what you like into your computer. So you can have, for me, I have a really cool dock, which is purple because it looks pretty sick. Um, so definitely something to check out is panic.com slash candy bar. I believe it is $20 um, or $15. I'm not really sure. You'll have to check that out. Worth uh, it. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Um, and uh, I'll bring up, like like I said before, I'd bring up Agile Solutions again. And um, I wanted to talk about the desktop client for 1Password because they're really separate products. You can't really buy one and get the other one free. Um, but, uh, but basically, 1Password uh, for the Mac, um, you can try it free or you can buy it. Um, it is thirty nine ninety five. Now, that's a pretty hefty price. But you have to think about the stuff that you get with it. You get to lock down all your passwords. If you ever forget, and I've forgotten passwords on multiple occasions, I don't have the best memory. Um, so anytime, for instance, if I forget like a site password for one of our writers, for instance, um, which used to happen all the time, I could just go on to one password, um, give my master key, which is really the only password I've, I'd ever have to memorize after I got this. And then um, access all my passwords that I've saved. Um, you, if you use Firefox, or I think they have it for Safari. Yeah, they do have it for Safari. Um, you can get uh, an add-on, which will let you just automatically save it, or you can access your passwords right there in your web browser. So that's pretty cool. And then um, on top of that, it syncs directly with your iPhone. So um, anything that you save that's new on your iPhone or anything you save that's new on Safari, for instance, on your Mac... Um, will go over to the other um, to the other device. So that's really cool for thirty nine ninety five. I mean, it's a really expensive app for some people, but definitely recommended. Um, I, it's really helped me on a lot of occasions. Um, so that's one password. You can catch it at uh, agilewebsolutions dot com. I guess. Wasn't uh, that? Uh, oh, sorry. Wasn't that in like the Mac Heist bundle one time? That one password app. It was in Mac Heist one actually. 
Yeah, I thought, I thought yeah. that was familiar. Something Speaking like of Mac Heist, uh, if anyone bought Mac Heist 3 last year, here's another app from there. Uh, Boinks TV. It is probably one of the best filming apps I have ever used on any computer. This app, I like to think of it almost as a green screen app without a green screen. It is very pricey, so if you didn't get it in the Mac Heist bundle and you are looking for something that is not cheap, then I'm sorry, this will not be for you. This app is definitely not one of the cheapest apps, but definitely one of the best, definitely one of the easiest to use in functionality-wise. It also has many different functions. Uh, like I said, this app it also has different, like, you could have your video camera and then a whole different, like, glow floating around you in the background. It is definitely how I like to think of it, a green screen without having to need an actual green screen. It can multitask, show different images. It has, if any of you use screen flow, it is definitely has a screen flow functionality with it. And it brings in many different functions at Apple and different Apple leper different uses that you can use in the operating system brings them into the app definitely takes control of what Apple gives the user already I definitely recommend this app it is not that expensive well actually it's very expensive sorry uh, it I'm pretty sure you can get it for the cheapest 200 that's getting the lower version of it so it is you can buy you can look it up at boinks dot com b o i n x dot com and yeah i kind of just realized that i actually Sounds had that application cool. <laughs> I yeah I, I actually have that app but i've actually never used it so i guess i'll give it so a basically, so basically I, I can put when i apps. first got it i was like when I, this was one of the main reasons i bought mac high street because i heard about this app and i thought if only i could afford it but then they, they put this in their bundle and i was like yeah so basically, I can put effects behind me when I'm recording. Is that is that what it does? Uh, pretty mu- yeah, but you, have to, you pretty much have all the effects behind you. You can't like you probably can download from their website like Fire and all that other stuff. It, is, it does not work, I guess, exactly like a green screen. But in most functionality wise, it can mm-hmm. use for a background green screen, not an actual front wise green screen. Mm. That makes any sense. Oh, uh, one thing that. I want to say. Oh, sorry. Um, is that a uh, photo booth does kind of have some kind of functionality? It's not full fledged. I'm I'm sure that again, other this app is really good. But photo um, booth is then I guess yes, you can take videos with photo booth. But I'm saying this is also gives you many different functionalities, not just for how you can. If you use YouTube videos, have you ever seen anyone use ScreenFlow where they can like take images and manipulate them around? This also does that. Plus, gives you the options of putting backgrounds in and everything else. It is definitely. It also gives you with so you can broadcast them and you can upload them directly live to your server or to, and from your server you can have functionality set up to directly to YouTube. It is definitely many different ways you can manipulate this program. And and, and what is a standalone price for it? Um, according to the website, the cheapest price you can get it from you can try it free for thirty days, but mm-hmm. the cheapest price you can get it from is apparently two hundred dollars, and that'd be the sponsored edition. Yeah. But get, you can get, but you get the full version for five hundred dollars. I have the sponsored edition because we all got the Mac Heist. But yeah. the full version is five hundred dollars, and I have, and I did get a way to up. My friend did get me something so I could upgrade to the full version, and it is definitely worth it. Um, how do you spell that again? B o i n x dot com. You should. You will be taken directly there. Definitely right, gonna have to check that out. Okay, so um, I'm up, right? Yeah, I'm up. Um, so my first Mac app is gonna be Alarm Clock Two. Um, it is an alarm clock pretty much for your Mac, and um, uh, for most people, uh, I don't, I, me personally, I wake up with my MacBook uh, hooked up to some speakers and my external screen and um i wake up like that in the morning um so you can use your itunes music a playlist or podcast such as the ipanel podcast um you could also also you can do an easy wake which um brings the volume up slowly but i don't really like that because i'm a heavy sleeper um also if you have it can wake your mac up um from sleep and it does integrate some kind of uh 
uh, some kind of control with the uh, Apple remote. You can snooze your the alarm with the Apple remote. All you need for this is Mac OS X 10.4 or later. Um, and it is a alarm clock. It's from Robbie Hansen. You can find it at RobbieHansen.com. Um, so, yeah, I, I personally use this every day. And um, you should check it out. Does it have voice control? No, I don't think so. Maybe in another one because it is a free app, so it is still being worked on. You yeah. can make donations, so maybe we should hit the forums up with that, and maybe that might work. I want, I want the Moshi, the new alarm clock that you talk to. Oh, that sounds cool. What is that again? I haven't heard of that. I think Moshi, Mitch, or like uh, something like that. Brookstone. It's like, it's like forty dollars from Moshi. All right, I'm going on Moshi.com right now. <laughs> All right. All right, Andre, you hit it up. Okay, okay my so first. What, what I want to talk about is called Rip It, and this is in the Mac Heist Nano Bundle 2. Um, so I got this the other day, and I've just been using it nonstop. I've been burning all my DVDs and putting them into my iTunes library. So I have an Apple TV, and this is really, really useful. Um, so if you want to get all your DVDs, put them into the Apple TV. I really like that. Um, wait, do you, wait, you can also burn DVDs with the Ripper? I thought you could only rip them. You can, yeah, it's a DVD ripper, but um, yeah. So it has a really nice interface, and it's just really useful. Um, and I'm not saying go do this illegally just for personal use. Um, so yeah, it's in the Emphasis Mac. Emphasis on rip your DVDs. <laughs> 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 Mac heist, it's yeah, so it's in the Mac heist uh, Nano Two bundle this year, uh, so it's only nineteen ninety five, and you get a lo- uh, like six other apps with it, so pretty cool. Now, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't it actually rip the whole DVD content, so it does all the extra features, and it creates like well, it can create like a physical video TS and audio TS system yeah. file, so you can like reburn it as if it was an actual DVD. Yeah, you can do that. That's sweet. Yeah. I'm actually yeah, sure. going to use that. By the way, if you don't have the Mac Heights bundle, uh, really go get it. Yeah, um, that's currently I going on. I highly recommend anything for Mac Heights. I'm a very, I use, I'm in their form a lot, in their chat a lot. I guess I am becoming a very Mac Heist user. They are nice people. They're, they're great customer support. And even if you want to practice any website, I guess coding almost, to so go into the form, look under their member heist. You can see a few that maybe you may be able to find ones I've made, maybe find the many users have made. If you want to test your computer skills or your website skills, some of them are very easy. Some of them can be extremely difficult. Just check them out there, I guess. Yeah, I sound like a new right now, but uh, Mac Heist looks pretty cool. I've never heard of it before. For those of you that don't know, the Mac Heist Nano Bundle 2 is going on right now. It's only 20 bucks, uh, 1995. All the profits go to charity or maybe just all the money uh, no it. not all 25 percent i'm pretty sure but uh, i mean already two hundred eleven thousand five hundred fifty five dollars so um they've sold forty two thousand bundles already and uh, over two hundred thousand dollars have gone to charity yeah that's really cool forty two thousand three hundred eleven bundles two days left um if you look on the side there um I mean, there's Mac Journal, Rip It, Clips, Cover Sout, Rapid Flow, Weaver, Flow, which is a good FTP client, uh, Tales of Monkey Island, Rapid Weaver, which will be unlocked like tomorrow for all purchasers. So that's one of the things too. The more you purchase, the more you get. Rapid Weaver is a really, really cool site. Also, order. they release three bonus apps. All I have to do is tweet a message, and you get three more apps. Yeah. So they got ten free apps for twenty dollars. Yeah, it's like. 350 bucks worth of apps normally that you get for 20 bucks and uh, you're helping charity out and i can't help but notice the tweety icon on the side of the page hmm. so uh we'll have to see what happens with that in the next few days but that's they already gave out tweety and in, in their mac Kais bundle nano bundle one so i don't know why hmm. yeah it's it's peeking out on the right side there so we'll have to see what happens with the that first but nano bundle is free that's really cool when so, this bundle ends, are they coming out with a new one? It comes out. Uh, Mac Heist bundle, Mac Heist Four, which is, which is their yearly bundle, should be huge. coming in the next few months. It will be over about nine hundred dollars for about forty or fifty dollars yeah, usually. It's, it's pretty nice. It so is nine. Get, 
the nano bundle right now for twenty bucks. It's once a year, but you got it. And you missed there. And the last nano ba- bundle was free. Another seven apps. Yeah. It looks like there's something. Someone went wrong while designing the website with the Tweety icon there. I don't know. It I feel it like maybe they Marvel slipped it in. Wasn't there originally? So that's pro- So they definitely added it in when they added other parts in. Maybe Lauren Britcher's behind something. Okay. Also, <laughs> there was the four hanging specialty wrapped apps on the left hand side. Uh, the- I just buy the bundles in case I need the apps later on. That's yeah, what I do. Killer did. deal, twenty bucks. You're helping charity, and you get a bunch of really cool apps. So you're always gonna find a use for at least one of them. Yep. Definitely. All right. They're so all well designed apps. I'm gonna talk about two Mac applications. I'm just going on a roll here i apologize one of them is called uh story mill it's 49.99 and it's made by mariner software and essentially what it is is it's a novel organizer so for writers who write books it's really cool because it allows you to physically write your book from within the app but in addition to that uh, there's a bunch of really cool features like you can uh, do character organization you can say this happened then there's timelines So it really just gives you this super organized system of managing your, you know, writing works, your novels, your, you you can even do essays. It's great for essay management. Uh, It's really cool. It's 50 bucks. So it is a little bit of money, but it's been a lifesaver for me. Story Mill by Mariner Software. And uh, the next one is called Quinn. (laughs) Excellent application named after Mm -hmm. yours truly. No, it really wasn't. But uh, it's a Tetris game for Mac OS X, and the best part about it is it's freeware. Now, you'll only need uh, Tiger to run it, so pretty much everyone can play with it. Uh, It has a really cool German developer, I believe. Don't even want to try his name because uh, I know I'll butcher it. His first name is Simon, so there you go. Uh, But the cool things about it is there's network play, so it has Bonjour support, and you can play with other people on your network. There's extensive online uh, high score databases. Uh, there's configurable key layout so you can change it to the way you want. The graphics are gorgeous by default, and it's really cool because there's even piece styles and backgrounds uh, people can develop and uh, you know make a part. So you can go download those and change. It just has a really cool community. Uh, there's different tournament, different game styles. There's five of them. Um, so there's custom piece and background styles as well, and it has beautiful integration with Mac OS X. And I believe it's, I mean, it's not open source, but it kind of is because the developer just goes, hey, you can do all this crazy stuff with it uh, in terminal, type this line, and you'll be able to do this to the application. So he's very, very open about it. It's really cool, and I highly recommend that you check out Quinn if you're into testers, and it's free for Mac OS X. So there you go. Okay, my apps are going to be uh, Wiretap Studio and Ringer. Now, I'll start off with Ringer. Ringer is an application that basically allows you to create free ringtones for whatever uh, songs you have in your iTunes library. And you basically pay $15 for the app, or you can use a free one, but it puts a watermark, so you have to cut that out to be able to use the ringtone. But, uh... I personally use it all the time to make ringtones, and uh, it's a really nice, solid application, and I really like it. Um, the other one is Wiretap Studio, and I use it to get audio from like any ac- application, and it doesn't actually use the mic. It uses the uh, application audio itself, so you don't get all that background noise and everything, and it, it's just really nice if you want to record an audio from a certain app. And that is Wiretap Studio I got with the Mac Heist bundle. And it's by Ambrosia Software. All right. Um, for my last Mac app, I'm going to be doing Bump Top. Now, guys, Bump Top was, um, it became popular when everyone was into tablets. Uh, I don't know if that ever hit you guys, but definitely a few years back, I wanted a tablet. Um, and right now, Apple doesn't really have a tablet. I don't care what any of you say about the iPad. It's not really a tablet. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the iPad but, uh, was a full yeah, iPad. Tampon. That's for another day. All right, all right, keep going. <laughs> oh, we all have right. next week's topic. All right. Um, Is the iPad a real tablet? <laughs> all right, so uh, it really was built for Windows, um, for Windows tablets, because it made it the, it actually makes the desktop interactive. 
Um, but when they made it for Mac, it just made everything so much easier to find. Uh, it lets you actually have photos on your walls, so it makes it like a box, I guess you could say. And you have uh, three walls and one floor, so you can have everything all spread out. You can have your folders to the left, you can have your dock down below, pictures on the walls, movies on the sides, apps in the middle, whatever you want. It's pretty sick. Uh, so definitely something to check out. They have a free version, and they have a pro version, which gives you a few more features that I'm not really sure about. So it is bumptop.com slash Mac. And, uh, all right, so um, I believe I'd be next. Um, so when we started podcasting on um, Tech Info, we have our own podcast. Um, obviously, we, we did it through Skype, too, because we had sometimes we had someone in the U.K., someone in Italy, and someone maybe across the street. So we'd have um, you know people all around. So we use Skype just like um, this podcast would be, for instance. And we really need to figure out what we'd record with. And we started out with uh, Wiretap, um, like you mentioned. And then um, uh, one day uh, while we were recording, something kind of went off. And so we thought, all right, let's just uh, let's try something else. Um, so we looked around and we found Audio Hijack Pro. Now. Um, this isn't a free application. Um, you can get uh, you can get a an, an free download which has noise overlaid on it um, for any on any hijackings lasting longer than ten minutes. Um, but you can buy a full license for just like thirty two dollars, which isn't that much. Um, and basically, you can record any audio from um, from your Mac. So what we use it for is we launch up Audio Hijack. We say, all right, we want to record Skype. Um, Click on Skype, open it up, start our podcast, and um, our recording is done. Um, sounds great, and um, it's it's definitely worth it. You can do a lot with it. You can do really quick records. You can digitize your analog. Lots and lots of stuff that you can do um, for just thirty two dollars. Definitely worth it. And it's definitely helped us out um, at Tech Info. So um, check out Audio Hijack Pro. You can get it at rogueamobia.com slash audio hijack pro yeah rogue amoeba makes cool stuff and uh, you're actually listening to this podcast because of audio hijack pro highly recommend it my favorite is because you can isolate a certain application so right now i'm mm -hmm. getting email i could be listening to a song but the only thing you would hear is stuff that's going on through skype so exactly it's, it's really cool um i guess i'm up my next and final app is espresso now it is by mac rabbit i can't find the price right now it is another uh, Mac Heist 3 app. I guess I guess I love all those apps from there. Now, what I use this app for, as I said earlier, I do a lot of work in the Mac Heist forum. And I'm just sure you're adding me. Um, as I said, I do a lot of work in the Mac Heist forum. In other words, there are, they do something called Heist. Besides the free apps, there's something like you have to go through the app, you have to know how to work on a web page, and you also get some bonus apps if you complete it and all that stuff. There are also these member-created heists, where you can make pretty much basic web pages, and you have certain hints in the source code, hints in CSS, uh, stuff put inside of image code. It's a whole giant thing. If, once you get part of it, you'll love this community. But how? But this app pretty much gives me a very easy way to make basic HTML pages where I can pretty much add special coding and put stuff in the source code, get everything to work very um, very nicely, I guess I could say. And, yeah, it just works. It just really helps me make... It's pretty much just for anyone... But it could be used for anyone who does basic HTML apps, or HTML in general. You can use CSS as well. It's not something for a hardcore uh, app developer. That, I guess, you should just use... Dreamweaver or any other thing, but this is just for some basic page, a basic web page. If you just want to get a little uh, sign up sheet out, something quick, easy, and you know what you're doing with HTML, this is just something quick to use. I use it every now and then. I just thought this, there aren't them, this is definitely very easy to use. It definitely is a very auto coding where it also, if you, if you wanted to try to analyze, ana analyze a uh, web page, it definitely breaks it down the web page a lot better than any other uh, software like this I've ever used. So this is definitely for any web developers like myself, um, Espresso. You can pick it up at MacRabbit.com. All right, so I'm up next. Um, also, and I'm leaving, guys. Um, thanks for including me in this, week, in this 
uh, week's panel. I'll try, I hope they get on another again. See you guys. And we'll continue all of his stuff in the sidebar. So thanks to Evan for coming on. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. All right. So um, I'm going to – my final app for the night is uh, App Delete. Um, this is a, um, a free, well, it was free, but now it went to a paid version, but, um, it's app zapper, but it's app zapper, but a different version of it. Um, it is from another indie developer. It's from, it's at regiusworth.com. Um, so it pretty much is app delete, except it's a little bit different in the UI and, um, it can find hidden Things associated with certain apps, um, uh, on like App Zapper, which if you do a search on Spotlight and you do this Mac, you will find residual files. App Delete will go through, and if you want, it'll give you the option to find hidden uh, files that maybe um, App Zapper might not catch. So, um, my final app for the night would be App Delete by um, Regis Hworth dot com. That's where you can catch it at. It is seven ninety nine. For new users, um, an upgrade is three ninety nine, and if you're on Tiger and Leopard, um, you can get the version two point two dot three uh, for five bucks. Yeah, it's yep. definitely worth it. When you delete applications, there's still a ton of residual files, plist files that don't get deleted, and it really just bogs down your system. So it's awesome to just go and clean everything out, and then that application is totally blown off the face of your hard drive. Exactly, mm -hmm. and the thing is, I found this free one after I uh, ended up paying for App Zapper, so I was kind of mad. But App Zapper, no offense to it, but it is a great app. I enjoy it a lot. And then yeah. something I want to point out about that is, if you have a free trial on your computer, just delete it with uh, that application, re-download the trial you know, <laughs> for a month. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. I, I use App Zapper. Uh, worth the money then, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right, um, Quinn Nelson, that snazzy iPhone guy, do not recommend that you do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's not go down that road. Yeah. Oh. Last thing we all need right. is the iPhone developers emailing all of us. Well, there you go, there. There's, there's a tip. If you... All right. All right. All right, so the last application I'm going to talk about is called Camouflage. Um, pretty much what this does is it hides all the clutter on your desktop. So right now I have probably like... 40 things on my desktop um, and I just hide them. It's up in the menu bar so it's really uh, easy to access and you can either show your icons or hide the icons. So it's really just a simple little thing um, that everyone should have on their computer. Um, so you can download that at versiontracker.com. Um, I don't exactly know how much it is off the top of my head but just check that out. Really cool application, really useful. Yeah, and that's cool for uh, people who are disorganized like me. I have a three gigabyte file sitting on my desktop called crap. So um, <laughs> for those of you that want to hide it, if you do YouTube stuff and you're going to screen flow, uh, it's really cool. There's also a similar application that runs in the system preferences called Desktople Pro. And uh, it's a little bit more money, I think. But it does more than just auto hiding. You can change your background colors and licenses, but it's pretty cool. So there's two solutions if you need to hide your embarrassment due to your dirty desktop. So there you go. Uh, okay. There. So I knew that was going to happen. Okay. So my last app is going to be Clips. Now, this is an app in the Mac Eyes bundle. You can get it right now for 20 bucks, And it's probably cheaper. I don't know the exact price of the app. But it's probably cheaper to buy the whole bundle. Then just buy that, that app personally. But what it does is basically every time you copy something, it puts it into this application. And you can go back and pretty and just click on it, and then it'll put it into your uh, clipboard. You can just paste all over. So yes, I love this app. Okay, keep going. Yeah, so um, as, as Quinn just said, it is an awesome app. I use it every day now, and it just keeps track of everything. You can go into your preferences and you can pick how many you want to store, where you want to store it. I have it as a hot key in a hot corner. So I just go up to my left, upper left-hand corner, and it just pops up. And it's just so handy. I really suggest you check it out. Um, that's actually really useful if you're an iPhone developer, copy and pasting code, um, and say you lose it, it's right up in clips. 
Cool. So uh, thank you, everyone, for joining the show. It was a good time. We're just over an hour, which is all right, you know, Mm -hmm. Uh, all good. And uh, we got some really cool applications. Check those out. Check out the Mac Heist Bundle, uh, 20 bucks, donations to charity, really good uh, benefit there. And, uh, hey, you get, like, $300 worth of apps. Yeah, so. And then uh, that's about it. Uh, Subscribe, rate, comment. Visit our sponsors at www.unlimitedcase, which is actually closed right now because we're undergoing a redesign. But uh, we'll be up with that pretty soon, and it will be bigger, better, badder than ever before. So uh, there's that. Uh, If you guys want to shout your links out before we get going, and I'll also post them in the sidebar of this video. So uh, thanks to everyone for coming on, and have a good night. Logan, you kick it off. All right, guys. Um, my first link is YouTube. Check me out at youtube.com slash the iPhone czar. Um, my Twitter is twitter.com slash Logan Voss. And uh, an upcoming website I'm going to be writing for is appinsanity.com. So definitely go check all those out. Um, personally, you guys can catch me at uh, twitter.com slash ki2594 and at youtube.com slash ki2594. But um, check out our website at techinfoteam.com or directly to our podcast at techcast.net. Um, basically an overall tech summary of what's been going on lately in technology. Um, definitely a fun show to be on. And um, if you are interested in being on the show, um, you can let us know uh, through Twitter. And I believe that's it. <laughs> all right. All right sure. <laughs> Sorry, my mic was muted andres do you got something to plug no no he's nope. silent doesn't andre what about you nope <laughs> alex all right um check me <laughs> at twitter.com slash apple app store youtube.com slash apple app store 101 and check out my apps on itunes just search up alex Britton and you'll find them all yes you will all right, so uh, everything is. Okay, you're in, a queen. Yeah, okay, now I found out how to unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was having some mute trouble too. My button like froze. Like, Special number, yeah. that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so my Twitter is twitter.com slash max for life 8 You can email me at max for life 8 at me.com, and that's also my aim, max for life 8 at me.com. So pretty simple. Yeah. Um, me, um, uh, I just want to plug my YouTube and my Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash AndreMR12 and youtube.com slash AndreMR12. On my channel, there will be videos up. I was just having some trouble. I uh, Somebody got into my account and deleted it, but um, contacted YouTube, got it back oh. up. So my videos will be back up. But um, yeah, and if anybody here wants to collab on a video, just PM me on YouTube. And all this ish is in the sidebar, so check that out. And uh, check out our wonderful panelists. Uh, if you want to be on the show next week, it's very easy. All you need to do is go to a link, which I don't remember. Uh, that will also be in the sidebar, and there you can sign up if you want to be in the show next week. Uh, we do something new every week. I don't know what we'll be talking about next week. Last week, we did the iPad. This week, we did apps. Next week, I kind of want to do something historical, like the history of the iPhone or of the iPod or of the Macintosh or the life of Steve Jobs creeping on people. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what we cool. like to do. So uh, uh, thank you so much for watching. Long video, probably the longest I've ever posted, and hopefully it was all right. So uh, if you have any comments, uh, please send those to me at ipanel at meme.com. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy. <laughs>